Right, moving on to the receive side of the Interceptor TC300, a 1981 stroke 2 set from uh, Korea. Let's see what it's doing. Oh, I unplugged the speaker. Right, well, straight away, it is receiving, and that's 0 0.3 of a microvolt, so that's not so bad very good. I'm going to back off the signal generator because that's too strong a signal to align it with. So I've backed it off to 0 0.2 of a microvolt and the first point is RX1 which is that coil. Then we'll move to RX2 And then under this wiring, we've got RX3. Just back the attenuator off again. And then RX4. That's 0 0.1 of a microvolt. That's off our clock. 0 0.06. Very sensitive receiver, that. I think it beats the Amstrad. So, we'll put an S9 signal on the test set. That's giving us a full range of lights. I wouldn't, don't really want it to be a full range of lights. So I'll make S9 two less than that. Now we're guessing the adjustment, so it's either that one in the corner. No, it's going to be that one at the bottom, isn't it? I'm sure it is. No, nope, couldn't be more wrong. And it's not that either. Right, well, we'll have to consult the... Uh, the book, we'll have a look at the manual, see how that works. Right, having studied the circuit diagram, I don't think there is a adjustment for the S meter circuit. It looks to me like it's uh, a resistor comes out of the, um, looks like resistor 74 comes out of the um, receiver and it's taken off there, so it looks like it's factory selected. But at the end of the day, it's not an accurate indication. So at the moment, that is S9, which is a full range of uh, lights, and that is probably about an S5. And that's going to be about an S1, so it's just a relative... Uh, display. Now what we will do is the squelch. So as usual we'll switch the signal generator off, set the thr threshold on the squelch, switch the generator on and the radio bursts into life. Set the squelch control to full, unfortunately it's still there, and adjust the preset which I presume will be that one. It is. I've just set that to full and we'll now see where the signal drain entry comes in. The answer is it never does. So we'll just back that off a fraction. Not one of the easy ones to set up. Okay, so we've set the squelch up, it's pretty awful. It's either very weak or it never comes in at all, so that's the real letdown on this set. And I'll just now do the detector. So I guess that it's um, the coil there. So we'll set the signal generator in such a way that it's a 100 microvolt signal, which is equivalent to S9. And we'll now set that for maximum on the 
oscilloscope. So that's it, it's all as spot on as it's going to be. So the only letdown is that we found the squelch is quite weak and that it would have to be used in conjunction with the RF gain control to be uh, that useful. So in a city this would be an awful set to use but in the country where we are it should prove to be alright when I put it on the aerial. Um, the only other thing I don't like is the fact you can't adjust the, um, the crystal but... Um, it's in specification and there you have it the interceptor TC300 and we'll put it on the air later on